coming down that I-10. I ten. I'm doing about eighty on that motherfucker. I'm coming yeah. down this fucking I'm doing about eighty. I'm, I'm smoke coming all out the goddamn window. I'm, I'm coming down this. You say you doing about eighty, huh? I'm, I'm coming down this. <laughs> yeah. Michael Rapinos boosting my ego. Mm. Are we live? And we live. Are we live? These niggas don't like me. I'm with the Gucci man and I'm so icy. Y'all know how we coming this week. Episode five. Ah, 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 ah. Still alive. Still alive. Ah, ah. Y'all know what it is. We in the cut. It's your boy, Young Kurt. Wait, did I say that right? In the cut. With Young Kurt, in the cut with Kurt James podcast, y'all can tell what time it is. It's your boy Young Kurt, <laughs> and we man, <laughs> and we are back with another episode. Man, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I just got done refereeing, officiating a couple high school games. <sighs> trash. I was out there officiating trash, but hey, I was getting the cash, getting to the bag. And I'm here. The grind don't stop. Y'all already know what it is. Woo! Young Jones is on vacation. Uh, whenever he hears this, he will probably be um, on the ocean somewhere with his young lady and with his family. Um, shout out to Young Jones, man. Young still be in the cut. We in the cut. And we here. We are here, boys. HBA Worldwide, man. HBA Worldwide. Y'all know how we coming. Ah! Just gonna freestyle this shit, man. This week I gotta come off the top with it. So I'll just be honest. Oh yeah, I forgot. I am unemployed as of today. <laughs> I am oh. unemployed. Tough. It's tough stiff. Boy has boys had to file for that unemployment yesterday. First Ooh. time I ever had to do that on the cool. So I'm fortunate enough for that being my first time, but I was like, ah. I'm not going to get into specifics just because I know how I am. I know I'm going to go on a fucking tangent. But I'm, unemployed. <laughs> but I'm unemployed right now. But at the same time, I'm a hustler. I got multiple streams of income. So, you know, just because one door closed don't mean we ain't getting money elsewhere. So it's just my corporate America job at the moment. <laughs> Why They terminated me. I was at the job for like a little over a year. You know, that's the longest I ever stayed on a job. For real? It was probably a little over a year. Other than my college job. I, I was a supervisor for intramurals back in North Texas. Um, but that but that was in college. But once I graduated, I never stayed on a job past and net like at least six months. Every six months I was I was moving in and out. And I was I was moving and grooving. Just because every new job I had, the pay was better. Yeah, I, I want to say I I worked at the airport at DFW Airport for going on a year. Then I got a job with Southwest Airlines, and then I think I I was right at like eleven months before I got fired from Southwest, and then <laughs> then uh, Centerpoint yeah. was working there, and a little over a year. Back on the job search, so for me, yeah. Uh, anything over a year is good for me. Like this is rare for me. Like and, and it's good that I can have that on my resume because I would always have to finesse yeah. during the interview. Well, why did you? Why are you moving around so much? Or you know those type of questions. So I had to. Of course, I know how to finesse during the interview. Just I mean, slick it, talk them. Slick talk. I mean, you got to hey, tell them what they want to hear. Put the put put the good smile on the cheese, all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Big whites, you seeing all of that? <laughs> you seeing gap, all the gap, all that? <laughs> big whites, big whites. Uh, oh yeah. So, <clears throat> but you, you know, you're in a different field where it's kind of like, you know, you bounce around, but yeah, not, not. I not mean, too much. not too much. If you find a good situation, yeah. like you can really. Yeah, I'm locked in where I'm at right you now. You can really locked in. You know what I'm saying? So. Where was you at before, like as far like as far as time period before that? Was that like a couple years? What you talking about? Before your current, like the the place you working at yeah. now. Before how long were you there at that job? Like at oh, that I location. Was at a, a year in Brenham. Year, year yeah. out in Brenham. I had to get up out of there. Right. I gotta move and move and groove, move and groove. I feel you, cause I feel you. 
Ah, uh, young stiff, young stiff. My bad, I'm getting thrown off. Just some ass keep walking by the. <laughs> we in the studio right now, and people, and people are looking in here wagon. wondering what's going on. Little wagon, little G wagon. Well, I don't, I don't know about a G wagon, but a station wagon maybe. But <laughs> it'll do. wagon it'll nonetheless. Do. It'll do. Woo! I told y'all we off the top with it right now. Um, shout out to um my younger cousin who decided to take a nap. You bitch ass nigga! <laughs> <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> and young Matt, I mean, I don't even know what you look like at this point. I never see you. I'm gonna send you a clip of this too. <laughs> boy, yeah, boy, boy, phone don't be working. Hey, boy, phone. Hey, niggas get wiped up and you don't hear from them. I'm hoping. Hey, when it's your turn, young Steph, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that's not you, man. I'm hoping that's I ain't not be you. That bad, man. I'm about to say I'm going to be in the cut, though. (laughs) Oh, of course. You got to be in the cut with it. And I understand you got to put your time in. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Certain niggas, man, like you. But I understand. I understand. We're getting older. I keep thinking, man, we we still back in our early college days, even high school. Boys almost that is. What? Niggas is almost big 3-0 with it. So, yeah, you know, you you start to think about these things. As I said (laughs) in my last episode, you know, I'm a little lonely, you know, and luckily in Houston, it, it, it's not getting cold anytime soon. Like, <laughs> they played with us a little bit. The weather played with us a little bit like two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Had a little was. cold front cover. I said, oh, okay, yeah. let me pull the sweats out. Got my little Nike tech, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is not a plug, by the way, but <laughs> hey, Nike, y'all know what to do. Cut the check. <laughs> but yeah, had my little tech on, you know, and then day later, back in shorts, back in shorts, so. Facts. Failing crispy though, we still out here. Hey, we ragged up with it, ragged up with it. So the rag works wonders. <sighs> Woo, man, it's been a lot going on. It's just, and I told y'all we coming off the top. Boys been moving and grooving today, so y'all bear with me. We still flowing, we still grooving. Um, oh, I mean, how could I not? <laughs> and who's the next president? Joe Biden. <laughs> 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 Who can fix the economy? Joe Biden, baby. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, you saw that the white people see. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> they had me rolling when I see that. <laughs> and who's the next president? Joe Biden. <laughs> And this is not a Biden endorsement. Y'all, if you follow the podcast, y'all know I, I voted for Biden, but I was very, I wasn't, un, I was very uninspired by him. So, but I couldn't vote for Trump. I mean, yeah, no. <sighs> absolutely. I not. couldn't vote for Trump. It's just like Trump, Trump, like you, he was doing too much. And he even still, tra- is. still is. And even traditional Republicans, it's just y'all. Y'all, like like I mentioned on the first episode, y'all made it seem as if you guys have very strict Christian morals and things of that nature. And again, this is not a <laughs> I'm not trying to bash conservatives here because, again, it's a lot of it's certain stuff on the conservative side. I agree with. Right. Like I said, I'm more independent more than anything, but. <laughs> it's just crazy to see all the conservatives riding for y'all riding for them hard. Even through all the fuckery, Front line. fuckery, right? Like, like I said, I'm not gonna call you a racist if you vote for him. I know a lot of people like to do that. Me personally, I understand you. It's just uh, partisan loyalty. You're loyal to the party. You're gonna vote for them no matter what. It's just crazy. Like, yo, yo, y'all just gonna let it slide? Oh, okay, bet, bet. <laughs> so it's just always baffles me with his presidency. Just <laughs> how much people are willing to, you know, turn the other cheek off of greed. Yes. Like, we live in a greedy nation. And like I say, man, we all not going to be here forever. I understand you want to take care of your family. That's really my goal, financial security for the family. Facts. And then everything else, you know, it should be to give back. But, hey, you, you do what you do. We live in America. But it's just a lot of y'all sacrifice y'all or y'all put money over your morals. And it's flawed, just, and it's just I can't like I can't I can't really but ride with Christians. it. <laughs> but y'all devout Christians, devout, right? But you just turn in the other cheek at this. I've been seeing some wild stuff. Like, have you seen these these pastors? 
when Trump lost or <laughs> whenever they were tallying up the votes. <laughs> oh, yeah. what, what about I've seen like Twitter videos of like uh, white pastors saying prayers like, but Trump will win. Trump will win. Trump will win. No. Amen. It is in the air. It is in the. I, Yo, see, they I, were, seen well, people, I see some crazy shit. I seen some people Wild out, like shit. outside of one of the polling stations. I seen one of, um, yeah, I seen, I seen a clip on Twitter. Niggas is wilding over they, this shit. They was outside Y'all love the this nigga station. so much. I'm, my bad, go ahead. You good, yeah, they was outside <laughs> the polling station praying and stuff on, on their knees, bowed down all the way. I'm like, come on, G. Y'all are wilding, right? Y'all are wilding. Like I said, now the thing, I'm gonna go on a tangent, but... <laughs> it's just it's it's real funny to me it's hilarious to see a lot of my conservative friends in an uproar right now (laughs) they are in an uproar they reposting all of these right-wing think tank uh conspiracy theories about the election and voter fraud and my thing is this it's over it's over with right it's over like, I honestly thought that he won because early on, because it, it was deja vu 2016, but 2020, I woke up in the middle of the night or at like one or two in the morning and I see him giving a speech talking about he won. I see majority of the map is red. I said, this motherfucker done done it again. <laughs> and I think a lot of black people and just a lot of people who are who don't really rock with Trump, who are against his his message. I think we were all just ready to just say, "Hey, it is what it is. Just four more years. Let's just ride it out." <laughs> but to see you motherfuckers in an uproar right now, this shit is hilarious, and it's just <laughs> I see a lot of people saying, "Oh, well, the Democrats. So y'all did this in 2016." So basically, y'all are saying, y'all did this in 2016, so we're going to act like a bunch of babies as well since y'all did it back then. Like, it's just crazy. It's <laughs> the hypocrisy, the hypocrisy. And it's just, it's, it's it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Like, people really believe that Trump was cheated out the election. They really believe that shit. And it's just baffling to me. It's baffling. It's funny. And it's just amusing that you're putting so much energy energy into this. <laughs> it's funny, man. We live. Hey, this is America. Facts. This is America. But uh, <laughs> oh, this was this is what I was gonna get to. So, do you think we're gonna get on on, on another lockdown? And what are your feelings about another lockdown? Because I tell you this, I know you probably seen me on Twitter arguing with niggas. Yeah. Just posting. I don't think we need another lockdown. I think the first lockdown caused so much unemployment, so much, I think, an uptick in crime, a lot of people on government assistance. I don't, I think it's more, it did more harm than good. And it didn't contain the virus because I feel like we live in America. Niggas are going to do what they want to do regardless, right? (laughs) <laughs> so my thing is this I really think And what I was saying On social media Was that I think These businesses Should Enforce Their safety guidelines And their health restrictions Just More firm I think we need to Enforce those Actually There should be Capacity limits At certain places And I feel like It's gonna It's hard to really Police that But I think you have to but I don't think the entire country needs to shut down. I just think that's that's just it's I just I don't believe in that. I I disagree with that. So and I, and I know a lot of you niggas really just want to shut down for another stimulus check. Like let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> like let's be real. And I've seen y'all say I've seen niggas facetiously saying this shit on Twitter or tweeting it. Say, oh, we need to, hey, shit, we need another shutdown. I'm trying to get another stimmy. <laughs> I say, yo, y'all, something is wrong with y'all. You niggas want another $1,200 that bad. And, and, I'm, yeah. 
and I just seen I've seen directly how the shutdown has affected a lot of people I know. I know a lot of people who are freelance entrepreneurs. Like they have their own trucks, they're in the truck driving business, they're in the hauling business. They were affected by that shutdown severely. So I'm not just thinking about myself in this situation and, oh, well, because I see people saying, oh, you can work from home. Not everybody has that luxury of working from home, right? So I'm thinking about the, you know, the small businesses, the uh, the self-made entrepreneurs. I'm thinking about them and how that shutdown is going to affect them. And y'all just want to say, well, get them niggas on unemployment. Like, Niggas, like, I tell you, I just filed for unemployment. That is not a fun process, right? <laughs> and I, and that's a, this is another thing. I hate how conservatives and, like, a lot of people, a lot of white people think niggas just want to be. And a lot of Mexicans be saying this shit, too. A lot of Hispanics, like, there's this idea that black people want to be on government assistance so bad. Y'all, <laughs> no, niggas, do y'all know how the process it takes to get put on government assistance, right? All the bullshit you have to go through to get put on government assistance. Nobody, like a lot of niggas in the hood don't have that who probably should. They don't want to go through that process. They don't want to go through the application process. They don't want to do, because it's tedious, right? So I think it's just, it's extremely false. And I just, I just don't like when people try to make it seem like all black people, like y'all just want to be on government assistance. No, that shit is not cool. But hey, I just went. I went off on a tangent. I went off on a tangent about the shutdown. But what you think about it? You know, especially in your industry, like yeah. I what th- do you think, honestly? We definitely just straight don't up. need to be in school. <laughs> in my opinion, niggas want to go back to that virtual shit so bad. But I but, talked to another but, teacher, and she said the kids are the biggest spreaders. That's what she always said. Yeah, the kids are the biggest spreaders. But I'm saying like. And that's what, because they be at lunch together, just like it's, you know, like it's normal. No mask. Yeah, no mask, just eat, you know what I'm saying? Like, so we had all these safety guidelines all day. Right. And then they, they said they go to lunch, be crowded up with their friends, no mask, eating, talking <laughs> all in front of each other, then uh, going, home, going on the weekends, hanging out, going to each other's houses, probably partying. Spreading it to each other, then you spreading it back to the teachers, exactly. and you spreading it back to the staff. So exactly, and then like I mean, if my my number one preference if we could just if we could if every if Corona was you know not a factor right now, we right. could just be teaching, you know, in person. That'd be my preference. But from what we doing right now, anyway, where it's half half of them, well, half not online. half, but like partial. You doing half your job online, half your job. In person, right? I rather just be fully in person or fully online. And right now, with Corona going on, the fully in person just not an option. So I'd rather, yeah, school right now don't make no sense. Sports <laughs> right now to me don't make no sense. Um, keep the sports alive. I'm refing. <laughs> okay, I need these checks. Y'all know, like, like I said, I officiate. So no, I, I don't want them though. to shut that shit down. But I feel you though. Like I don't know how, cause I see. A lot of games are getting canceled as well. People would text me like, I'll have a game, and then it got canceled yeah, 15, it, 20 minutes later. Exactly. Well, so I'm going uh, I'm going to watch uh, my, my old school in Brenham tomorrow play, and I hit bro asking uh, about the game tomorrow, and he told me how they, uh, they plan, but they had to switch the team today. Just talked to bro Wednesday. Wait, they had to switch the team? Yeah, like they they found out they had like oh a they, different opponent yeah different opponent basically okay because uh team canceled because of probably a corona case or something of the sort and then are they testing at school no I'm about to say I don't think I'm about to say no nah, school can't afford that no it's it's, it's not that, that's definitely not in the budget exactly so but I feel you I feel you I do feel that but I don't think. I don't think we should have another shutdown. Yeah, I just but think like, should yeah, be a full shutdown isn't as like how we had it earlier. Isn't as necessary if get these these places are can really enforce their their rules and stuff. But when you got the bars and the clubs, the bars and the there, clubs like open, it's nothing. Strip clubs open, like it's nothing. Like then, like you go to the gym, 
Like, I understand, like, they just opened up the sauna talking mm -hmm. about it's three people limited in, in in there. Ain't nobody following that rule. Like yeah, I was in the sauna today, and somebody I was the I was in there by myself for the first few minutes. <laughs> Two dudes walk in. I'm like, okay. Then we had, we had that three limit max that the sign they have on the door. Niggas then, are not abiding by that rule. And then somebody else come in there. I'm like, oh, well, good thing. I was good thing. I only had another minute or two to be in there before I got out. Yeah, I, I'm all the way in the corner. I'm about, all the way in the like, corner, tucked off in the corner, looking at niggas. Niggas do not think about moving closer. Like I work out at a at a LA Fitness, and it's a heavily Hispanic population there. Yeah. So them Hispanic niggas, they you got to look at them like once or twice. Like yo, essay, bato, <laughs> bag, bag. You know, you too close, right? Look at the sign. <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah. I mean, but we live in Texas, so I don't think. I know a lot of people taking shots at Governor Abbott because he is a fuck nigga. I don't fuck with Abbott. But I do agree. I don't think there should be another shutdown. Now, schools, I don't work within that industry. But, you know, hearing different opinions on that, I can understand why that probably needs to go back to online how it was. Still keep the sports, though. <laughs> but, hey, look, we were, we were, I was, I was, I am a little bit all over the place. This is um in the cut. I see how you Episode slide. five in the cut. Yeah, I peek. You thought you was running game. I'm not sleep. You know how we slide. How I'm sliding. And you know how I'm coming. And it wasn't hard for me to tell that you was up to something.